Spring is in the air. Yes, it is. And so are wonderful spring vegetables that are sure to be your new favorite side dish for Easter or any time, really. Let's jump in and get started. First, we're going to make a delightful compound butter using limes, ground ginger, unsalted butter, and salt and pepper. Zest about three or four limes. You'll need a total of four teaspoons. You can use a zester and give it a chop or just grate them. In a bowl, add one stick of room temperature butter. It usually takes me two hours to get a stick to room temp. Add your lime zest, two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of salt, and black pepper to taste. Then simply mash and mix away. Once it's mixed, you can store it in a small container, or sometimes I roll it back up into a stick of butter. You can do this days ahead if you want, and just store it in the fridge. Now the ingredients you will need for the vegetable medley are sugar snap peas, asparagus, tiny cut baby carrots, and for garnish, chives or green onions. Now let's prep the veggies. First I'm going to wash 8 ounces of the snap peas and trim them. Then I'm going to wash and chop my asparagus into 1 inch pieces. That will amount to about 8 ounces also. And that's pretty much it. We are now ready to cook. Bring a medium pot of water to a boil. Add your carrots and return to a light boil and set your timer for 7 minutes. Don't forget to season the water. Then set up a large bowl of ice water and set it aside. Return to the pot and at the 3 or 4 minute mark Add your snap peas and cover. With two minutes left, add your asparagus and cover again. If you also wanted to add a handful of frozen peas, now would be a good time. Once your timer goes off, drain the vegetables and put them into the ice bath immediately for at least five minutes. Afterwards, remove any ice and drain again. Now, we want to dry the vegetables the best we can. What I like to do is put them in a clean dish towel and give them a little spin. I think this is more gentle than a salad spinner, which might bruise your asparagus. Plus, I get to dance around a bit and no one really notices. Just be careful you don't throw your vegetables all over the kitchen. Now at this point, you can store the veggies in the fridge or on the counter until you're ready to finish it. When you are ready to bring it all together, get a decent sized skillet on medium heat and add about six tablespoons or 85 grams of the compound butter. Once it's melted and bubbly, add the veggies and give them a toss. Then add two teaspoons of sugar. This is optional, but it does help to make a nice glaze. Add one teaspoon of kosher salt and pepper to taste. And cook until the veggies are heated through around five to 10 minutes. Then, simply transfer to your serving dish and sprinkle with the chopped green onion or chives for garnish. Ta -da! And there you have it, an interesting take on vegetables for your spring table. Give this a try and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're looking for a great potato side, check out my minty red potatoes at the link in the description below. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Say goodbye, Walter. Mm-hmm.